Welcome. So in this session, we are going to see about Pi ENV and Pi ENV we are going to install in our Linux server where Jenkins is running. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So first thing first, let us try to understand why we need this Pi ENV. Pi ENV is a simple tool for managing and actually using multiple Python versions in any of your machines. It works in all the Linux, Mac and Windows machines. And why we need is we might be having different teams working on different projects which actually might be using different Python versions. So if you want to run all the different Python versions in the same Jenkins server or even on the slave machines, Jenkins agent machines, you will need to have different Python versions supported in that machine. Second point is you don't want to mess around with these already installed systems, Python, whatever came with the installation. You can have a different OS versions running your Jenkins server and you don't need to change your job configurations, Jenkins job configuration because of your change in the operating system. Okay, so let us go ahead with the installation of this PyENV. So this is the page github.com PyENV PyENV installer. This has got all the documentations how you will install and all. You can actually follow this and install it. But uh, let us go to the home page first. PyENV 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 github.com slash PyENV PyENV and you can see all the you can go through all these documentations. Okay, so before installing the Pi ENV, let us try to first install all the prerequisites. So for that, we need to do an apt install and try to install all these utilities in our Ubuntu server. Yes. Okay, so it looks like it is done. Go back to our Pi ENV installer. So here is all the installation steps. I'm going to follow some of these and I'm going to use my own steps as well. Okay, so first thing we have to log in into our Jenkins user. So let us go to sudo user first and then we can go to our Jenkins user. Now we are in the Jenkins user. So this PyNV can be installed for any users, root users or, or Jenkins user or any other user you have in your system if ever you want to work on different Python versions in any of your Windows or Linux machines. But for our course, we are going to use Jenkins to run different Python versions. So let us install with the Jenkins user. Okay, so these are all the steps which I have noted down. I'm going to use all these steps and then paste it here in our Linux server. So this is the first step. Let us try to run this paste. Okay, so this is done now. Okay, let me clear the screen. Next is we need to add some exports into the bash rc to activate this pi env so let us copy this second one to insert into our bash rc file for our jenkins user paste it and then the second one this is another export variable let us paste it again and then the third one paste it okay so now actually our installation process is done we can activate this using this ex execute dollar shell which is going to invoke all the environment variables that we have put in our bash rc file okay x cell paste it and put it here okay so now we can issue some pi env commands pi env versions and now you don't see any python versions other than your system python so if you type python 3 minus v you should see the original python installed in our server python 3 8 10 okay so we have to install a new python version using this pi env so before doing that let us try to configure a couple of more things here for this jenkins user so that whenever we log in we get this pi env activated so for that what i will going to show you is let me first sign out of this jenkins user so now i am as root user you can see it here root and uh, now if i try to log in again as jenkins and try to issue pi env versions it is not going to work because i have not activated that bash rc so for that what we can do is we can update our dot profile file so dot profile files actually stays in your home folder so right now i am in my actually my, in my home folder only plus minus a and you see there is no dot profile file but uh, we have already updated our dot bash rc so if i show you my bash rc file so these are all the things which we have pushed in into this file okay let us come out of this and let us create a dot profile file dot profile and so in this file what we are going to do is we are going to activate this bash rc so you can just copy this command and copy this condition if code block and paste it and then 
Let me also put one more command here. Let's put the uptime just to see whenever we log in how much time the system has been up on. So let us save this one and come out of this. And now let us again go out of this Jenkins user. Control D. Let me clear the screen. And now if I log in as Jenkins user, you should see the uptime and all getting printed here once I log in. So pi env versions. Sorry version will show you whichever is selected versions will show all the python pi env versions that we have in this server okay so now let us first let us try to list down the python versions whatever is available for this pi env versions for so so for that the command is pi install dash dash pi env install dash dash list and if i hit enter it's going to list all the python versions starting from 2 till the latest one so let's try to list this and you can see that here you can see all the python versions whatever is available with this it's getting printed here so but what we can do is we can actually grab it so we can actually grab it what versions specifically we want so here i am trying to grab uh, version 7 8 9 10 if you want to grab like this so let me do one thing let me just grab 9 and 10 so hit enter and you should see only your versions whatever you specified in the grab Okay, so let us try to install 3.10.1 so for that what we need to do is what we need to do is we need to provide pi env install dash v 3.10.0 and hit enter now it's trying to install this python version 3.10.0 for this pi env okay so looks like the installation is done now let us check the python versions pi env versions and you should see the and you should see 3.10.0 installed in this server so i have put down some commands here all the commands that you would need to be working with pi env so pi env install we have already done and the install location if you want to see it you can see with this command and 3.10.0 the version and this one's the systems version so how can I switch to this new version 3.10.0 so that we will see but before that I would like to tell you that for removing you can just remove this pi env uninstall 3.10.0 or rm minus rf and then your the version this version 3.10.0 if you delete then this version will go off from your system okay so we would not need to do that in most cases but still i'd like you to know know about that as well so now let us change switch our pi env version to the one which we just installed pi env global and we'll just put 3.10.0 and hit enter now if you see the pi env versions you should see the star in here star and then 3.10.0 that means this one is the active version now if i do python 3 minus v you should see python 3.10.0 is showing here it's not the default one the default one is 3.8 something okay so that's about the installation of this pi env and you can switch between your python version using this pi env global and then the version providing the version in this command thank you for watching i hope it has helped you in some way please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe in order to support me thanks for that see you in the next video